Hello, 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 everybody. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come join the conversation. Hi, everybody. Come join the conversation, babies. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Happy hello. Monday. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween to each and every one of you guys. Listen, for those of you guys who have never been with us before or you have no idea who we are. Hold on. I'm trying to get... Trying to get both of us in. If you have no idea who we are, I am Candy Sincerity Johnson. And I'm sorry, I didn't know what else you were saying. I'm sorry. And I'm Sean Johnson. Hey guys. <laughs> okay. So I am Candy Sincerity Johnson, and I help you transform the life that you have to the life that you want while unlocking your wealth potential. So what we typically do is we take things that are happening in the world. And we look at, you know, different topics and we we don't just gossip, girl. That's not what we do over here. We look at what's going on in the world and we find those nuggets or those things that we can use to learn from um, based on whatever is, girl, buzzing the girl's ears in the streets, girl. <laughs> right. What the streets are talking about. What are the streets talking about? You get what I'm saying? So we were trying to figure out what we were going to talk about tonight. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, girl. There was a video that popped up on my phone. We started watching the video. And I said, girl, I told Shauna, I said, that's what we're going to talk about here, here on tonight, girl. I said, oh, that's okay. that's the conversation on tonight. So um, Sean and I wanted to go deep into it. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to give you guys, as we always do in Candy and Sean format, we're going to give you some backstory. If you don't happen to know who we're referring to, mm -hmm. we're going to give you some backstory. And then we're going to give you our commentary on you know what we think is going on what we think should happen make some suggestions just in case anybody was listening and give you guys some actionable takeaways where if you ever were to find yourself in a situation here's some things that you can consider to make sure you come out on top there okay? you go there you go all right so did you want to give any um backstory or anything sure so in case you didn't catch the title the title is um dealing with chef carmen atl mm -hmm. um, and boss lady so let me start off by saying that we do know chef carmen like we don't know her like that's our best friend mm -hmm. but we know her because we have um have communicated with her off of social media um we have done things with her etc um, we were introduced to Chef Carmen about, what, five years ago now, yeah, right? So, it's been some time. Yeah, we were introduced to Chef Carmen five years ago when we originally did, when this page was called Candy and Sean. Mm -hmm. That's when we first kind of came on the scene, you yeah. know, we were dipping our toe in the water, figuring that this social media thing out and all of that. And so we decided that we wanted to do something to recognize other people in the social media industry. Mm -hmm. So we did Candy and Sean Awards. And one of the categories was Best Online Cooking show. Cooking show. Mm -hmm. That's what it was. Yeah. And so there were a bunch of people who nominated people and Chef Carmen was one of the nominees who were mm -hmm. nominated by her people because they were like, oh, she's dope, so on and so forth. That's right. So long story short, that's how we originally got uh, con connected to Chef Carmen. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, we communicate. We have our phone number. We communicate her offline and we're with her offline. Um, Candy has talked to her about possibly doing some type of collaboration things um, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So... Um, that's why we say we're not just gossiping because we're not okay. Because like I said, we know her. We don't. We're not like best friends, but we know her. Mm -hmm. And so as of late, um, she has had some some issues. I'll say. I, I mm -hmm. guess that's the best way I can put it. She's had some issues with her longstanding friend slash and business, business partner. partner okay, mm -hmm. who is boss lady. Now we don't know her. I, have you ever talked to? Her? No, I've never talked okay. to Karina. So we don't know her. We only know Chef Tom. And mm -hmm. but as of late, there has been some some trouble in the city. OK, um, she can Chef Carmen is now engaged to her wonder her to her fiance. Tay. You guys may or may not have heard of her. Mm -hmm. And it seems like and I'm not trying to put anything out there. It seems like ever since she went along on her love journey, that there's been some difficulty on the business side. Mm -hmm. So if you guys don't know who she is, if you haven't been following her story, um, it seems like uh, Chef created her seasoning brand years ago. Um, she, it's called I Got You Seasonings. Um, she has been cooking. She's She's been doing catering business, mm -hmm. catering events for Delta Airlines, all types of stuff, feeding the homeless. She's just really, really dope. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and it seems like just from what she's has shared that she started working with Boss Lady on a business side because Boss Lady came in as a financial backer. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So she came in to help Chef Carmen, probably to help her to boost the seasoning up to another level. Because mm-hmm. from what I can tell, it seems like Boss Lady knows a lot about business. She has a lot of different things going on. And so maybe she was that additional um, additional source of wisdom for Carmen to take her brand to the next level. Um, but as of late, there has been some issues. Um, there has been issues dealing with the business. There has been issues, issues dealing with the house that Chef Carmen lives in now. There's just been a lot going on. And so that's kind of like the background without going into all the nitty gritty. I don't know if there's anything else that you wanted me to share about the situation, but that's like the foundation of it all. Well, first off, let me say hi to all of our, all of our good Judys and good Jonathans that are watching live and shout out to all of our replay games as well. Yes. Dawn said she was introduced to Chef Carmen during the Candy and Sean Awards as well. Yeah. And I think a lot of people and a part of us doing that, it was a couple of different things that we wanted to accomplish when I had that idea. Mm-hmm. We wanted to create the platform where more people could be seen by, you know, different audiences. Some of the social media uh, creators have small audiences. Some of them have very large platforms. And so we just really wanted to put everybody out there and so that people could cross follow mm-hmm. and really just get exposed to other people that they otherwise wouldn't have been introduced to. Yep. There were a lot of partnerships and stuff that was created mm-hmm. on and offline as a result of that. Yep. Chef Carmen started doing stuff with the greens. With the greens you know, the greens. there yeah. were a bunch of um Brazil ended up, you know, working with Chef Carmen mm-hmm. at some point. So which is Savannah Westbrook. There were so many different partnerships and things that were created as a result of that even people from different categories and it really became a beautiful thing. Mm-hmm. So Chef Carmen has always been very, very polite. She had hundreds of thousands of followers even then. Yes. I think at that time our page was very, very small. And so she was like, Hey, I think this is a good idea. I'm all over it. She sent her people over to vote and they turned out in massive in numbers. numbers. Cause she won two years in a row, right? She won two yeah. years in a row. And so I had, I had just literally always fallen in love with her brand, mm-hmm. fallen in love with the journey. And I love that they just documented everything. Yep. So as everything started to fall apart, oftentimes Sean and I were kind of looking at some of the videos and we were like, man, we were literally just rooting for them in the background. But you know how it is when something's going on, you don't want to reach out to people, you know, they got enough going on and you don't want to be another loud voice in the crowded room. And so oftentimes when you're going through something, you just need time and space. And so I was under the assumption, like many people watching, that the drama has started to die down, that they were probably getting back on track as it relates to your, to their business, and they were working things out behind the scenes to maintain the integrity and, of the business and of the brand to continue pushing forward. Mm-hmm. And so today, um, you know, Chef did some, she did another video, yep. and some more stuff fell out the bag, and I was just like, oh my goodness. So the reason why we wanted to bring it forth, Sean, and Sean can go into a little bit more detail about what Chef stated today. Um, she can go into details in a minute. But the reason why we wanted to bring this to the forefront for our discussion for tonight is because even if you're not an entrepreneur, there's so many different takeaways from the conversation. You might be the single man or the single woman, and you might be looking for that right person. These same sort of business conversations or money conversations, you have to start thinking about that before you settle down with somebody. Because the last thing you want to ever do is come to the table to divide the pie when everybody in their feelings and everybody angry. Mm -hmm. You have to make sure T's across, I's are dotted on the front end versus trying to play cleanup and everything on the back end. Because things can get very, very messy. And Sean's going to give y'all some background about how messy, how messy it can get. How messy. So, um, like, I, like I stated before, uh, Car- Chef Carmen and Boss Lady have been friends for, she states, about 25 years. So, they knew each other even before they, before they got into the business uh, partnership. Mm-hmm. Um, about about uh, Chef Carmen said that she had, I got your seasonings for at least 13 years before um, Boss Lady even came on to becoming a business partner. Mm-hmm. But again, she became a financial backer. 
Don't know the details of that. It's not my business. Um, also, once they started to partner up, it seemed like they made the decision or came to the agreement that Chef was going to continue to be the face of the brand, as she always had been. Like, when you mm-hmm. think of I Got You Seasonings, you think of Chef Carmen. Her face is on the box. Like, everything. Like, that's what it She's is. She's on the cookbook. She's on the cookbook. She's doing all the cooking shows. She is the face of the brand. That's okay. who you see. That's who you see. That's, that's who, who you know. know. That's who you correlated to. So, that's it. Naturally, that's how it should be. Uh, but based off of what uh, Chef was sharing, it seemed like going into the partnership, it, it she started to lose some of the control or some of the anonymity or some of the, the flexibility to kind of do some of the things that she had always done. Mm-hmm. For example, she was told that she couldn't have certain people in her lives. Um, she couldn't. She couldn't talk about. It. She couldn't okay. have. Moved. She couldn't have Tay on the live. So yep. once once her and her fiance started dating, she was told that she could not have Tay on the lives. Um, she would so stop tagging her page. She couldn't tag her page. She could only tag Boss Lady and everything. Um, Boss Lady could be in the videos, of course, but Tay could not. Mm-hmm. Um, then it it came about that. Uh, Chef just gave her the I Got You Seasonings page because it seemed like everything was trying to be controlled. Like she had to do lives a certain way. She had to always make sure that Boss Lady was present and all of these things. And so she gave her the I Got You Seasonings page. And if you were to follow her, you notice that page is no longer called that. It's called something completely different. It's called Boss Lady and Family now. Mm -hmm. Um, And so she just relinquished it and just let it go. Um, And in addition to that, now, uh, according to her today, there's a restraining order in place. So now Chef is not even allowed to come near Boss Lady, which means that she can't even go to the business where they, you know, ship out all the orders and stuff like that. So let me pause you there. Mm -hmm. Sit in that. Sit in that. Sit in that. You create a business. Let's let's not. We're not going to just skate. We're not going to just be. We're not going to just skate. Okay. Okay. All right. You create a business. With your 20 something year long best friend. Mm-hmm. Something happens where you find love, you've been single for a while, you find love, you're getting ready to get married, and your business partner slash best friend don't like the person who you chose mm-hmm. for whatever reason. You guys have friction mm-hmm. that cannot be resolved. You now cannot physically even enter or go on to the property of the business that you started. Right. Let's sit in that. Hmm. Let's sit in that. You going through all of this drama and all of these things with family members, other friends, people close to the business, employees, etc. Mm-hmm. Like, let's sit in that. Right? That's tough. Right, wrong, or indifferent, let's sit in that. And I'm not, this is not our our way of taking sides because I'm a firm believer there's three sides to every story. Mm -hmm. There's her side, her side, and somewhere in the middle is the truth, right? Right? Because people, because being, what happens is when stuff starts to get messy and things start to get aired out, people tell you what they want you to know and then you get the the cliff notes, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because people start to feel attacked. And then you start to put information out, hurtful information. You get what I'm saying? And it becomes this ping pong match, right? right? But let's look at it from a Mm non-biased financial perspective. You birth this business like you would a child. Mm -hmm. You started this thing. A lot of times when we as entrepreneurs start something, once it gains traction, and people, the rest of the world, start to see where it could go. Then that's when people want to jump on board. They want to, they want to, you know, financially back you, et cetera. Mm-hmm. And even if it's a 50-50 business partnership, there's so many moving parts to this. Yeah. So let me get straight to my point. I see both sides. I do too. You understand what I'm saying? I see the emotional piece from Carmen and I see her saying look I built this thing this is mine at the end of the day like I'm the face I'm this I'm that I'm the one out grinding I'm the one everybody see etc but without ever talking to Karina and without knowing her personally I see sis side too and what she's saying is look that sound good but niece my money is involved 
my time is involved, my reputation is involved, I'm part owner of this business. And when you get married, when you get married, when you're in business partnership with somebody and they get married, you are now in partnership with them as well. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's the part that people are not talking about. Right. That wedding go down, she's now in partnership with her as well. Mm -hmm. And I think that's that's the part where Chef Carmen's passion and her, her emotions are coming into play because her biggest thing is, what do you have against Tay? Naturally, as mm -hmm. all of us probably would, if somebody was coming for candy, emotionally, I would be like, hold up. Like, mm -hmm. what's your problem? Like, what's good? Like, why are you attacking her? Let's figure this out. However, if you take the emotional connection away and say, okay, wait a minute. If I look at this from a business standpoint, if she has been financially backing me, I'm an investment. Let's be real. Like if somebody is investing in your business, you, that part you're, you. you're the investment. And so they're trying to secure their investment. So she's probably looking at it like, okay, mm -hmm. what's going on with this person that you're about to marry? I don't really know anything about her. However, I still need to protect what, what, I'm, what I'm investing in. Okay. So you have to make sure that you that you can remove yourself. And like I said, it's probably very difficult for Chef to do that right now because she loves this woman. You know can, what I'm saying? Can I, can I, can I discuss the elephant in the room where nobody's talking what's, about? What's, what's the elephant? So the elephant in the room is this. Let's not act like we don't remember when we first started seeing Kareem. We first started seeing, okay, come on, y'all. Come on now. And I might make some people mad. I might make some people mad. And Carmen, if you see this video, sis, I apologize, but I can't, I can't do anything but tell the truth as I remember it. Yeah. Okay. So when we first got introduced to Karina, mm -hmm. it was immediately after the whole Stephanie situation. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm talking to the people who've been following for a while. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Stephanie was Carmen's ex-girlfriend. And I don't know what happened with them. Some stuff blew up. Stephanie allegedly deleted her page. It was this whole debacle. Mm -hmm. Karina, I didn't know who Karina was. I had been following Carmen for a very long time. All of a sudden, this Karina person pops up on the scene. Carmen is going live over there. She's cooking. Mm -hmm. Karina is helping her rebuild yeah. immediately after this big, tragic heartbreak with her ex, mm -hmm. right? Let's take all emotions off the table and we're dealing with logic and we're dealing with business on tonight. Mm -hmm. We're dealing with the money. We're dealing with the, we're, we're taking the emotions off, right? Mm -hmm. Come on, ladies. We're taking the emotions off mm -hmm. and we're dealing with logic and we're dealing with business. Since that point, which was probably a couple of years ago, Karina has been actively investing in this business. She's been actively present in this business. You guys have put blood, sweat, tears, all kinds of things into what was your child. Now it's you guys' baby. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You're so so you're co-parenting at this point. So Chef went from being a single mom of this business to now Karina's stepdaddy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now y'all got a merged household. Mm -hmm. So now she got some skin in the game. You see what I'm saying? And so naturally, what happens is you got a business partner who's sitting on ready. Anybody could have walked through that door. Yes. I don't think it's personal to Tay. I don't, I don't think, think so it's personal. I'm telling you, you could put a clown nose on anybody and they walk through that door. Mm -hmm. Anybody walk through that door, Karina going to be sitting on ready because she already know what she's been through and what you've been through, Carmen, as a result of the last situation. Mm -hmm. And I, again, you know, Stephanie's not involved. This is not a video about her. I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just addressing the elephant in the room. Yeah. Because there's always a backstory. There's always a why. There's always a backstory, right? Yeah. So then what happens is now you got everybody's emotions involved. Mm -hmm. But when we're dealing with business, ladies, when we're dealing with business and you have to run your household just as a business, even if you don't have a business, the same rules apply. Mm -hmm. When you're dealing with business or you're dealing with money, you have to remove all emotions. And it's not about what you want. It's not about what I want. Sean and I went through this. Sure we had a business on paper and off paper when we were going through our divorce. Yep. And it all boils down to not what you said you was going to do or what I said I was going to do, but what does the paperwork say? Yep. What does the paperwork say? Mm -hmm. It ain't about what happened. It's just like a crime. Yep. 
It ain't about what happened, it's what can you prove? Mm -hmm. What can you prove, right? So when you're thinking about opening a business, and this is dangerous, partnership is dangerous. Partnership, I tell everybody that I coach and everybody I consult, partnership is dangerous because the person you will ride and die for today, mm -hmm. baby, mm -hmm. you might give two quarters in a lollipop for yeah. tomorrow. You get what I'm saying? Exactly. And I'm, I'm, and I'm not saying this from a place of bitterness. I'm saying it because I've been there. Mm -hmm. When you dealing with, when you, when y'all getting money together and then now you got to deal with the person who you were married to and they slept around and they lied and they cheated and they did all of these things. You get what I'm saying? The stuff that we did to each other on a personal level mm -hmm. carried over and translated into the boardroom. Mm -hmm. So the mess that spilled over from the bedroom carried over into the boardroom. Exactly. And so the two people who were once fighting to row the boat in the same direction, now you have them fighting and we're tearing the boat to smithereens in the middle of the ocean. We're spinning in circles because we're, we're rowing in different directions. You understand what I'm saying? All at the expense of the two people who mean the world to us, which was our kids. Mm -hmm. We were too stupid and too ignorant and too emotional to sit down and say, get out your feelings. Right. What do my shirts say all the time that I wear? Get out your feelings. There's no money, here. There's no money there. Okay? Get out your feelings. There's no money there. Mm -hmm. So we were too stupid to sit down and say, let's just undress this thing and let's do what's best for everybody. It took us a long time to get there. But we had done so much damage. But the danger in the social media thing, baby, is you can delete videos, you can take stuff down, but baby, that screenshot, that girl, that screen record, undefeated. Girl, you, you, girl, the dials over there in the Apple Store, <laughs> girl, y'all win every day. You understand what I'm saying? I got an Android. We, I don't know how it's, to. It's undefeated. I don't know how it works, and I'm not tech savvy, but but sis, let me tell you. Y'all church of screen record is undefeated, girl. Yeah. The girls down at the church of screen record. So, and, and this is my thing. You have to understand because everybody that you like this with can be your business partner. Mm -mm. They just can't. Like, just because y'all ace boom coon, y'all ride or die, y'all would, would jump in front of a bullet for each other and mm -hmm. all of the things that may not translate into a business partnership. Mm -hmm. That's friends, that's family, that's partners, that's spouses, that's whatever. I'm telling you. Okay? It, it don't always translate. Mm -mm. What we have found, though, is that we once we get out our feelings, we actually can do business. We cannot stand each other on any given day. And we can still take care of business. Yeah. It's just the way to do. Because we understand the assignment. Because it's about these coins, okay? It's about getting something done, and it's about a, a, a goal that we're trying to accomplish. But everybody's not like that. Some people's like, you getting on my nerves, and so now I can't even function. I can't talk to you. I can't make a decision for you. You ask me what my thought is about this. I, I don't like you. Just can't. Yeah. Let me tell y'all something. It was like two months. Me and Sean was not good. Y'all did not know that. I had no clue. You had no clue. We were not good, girl, at all. And it wasn't, it wasn't that anything was a facade. It was, it was actual truth. You know what I'm saying? Everything we presented was facts. Mm -hmm. But it's one of those things where I might not like certain things that you said or did. Mm -hmm. You may not like certain things that I said or did. But at the end of the day, sis, mm -hmm. what I'm not going to do is chop off my hand to swipe my, you know, what, what do they say? Chop off my hand to swipe my, uh. Yeah. Yeah. You something, girl. You get what I'm saying? I, I'm not gonna make things harder on me mm -hmm. as a result of. It. So we had to put our differences aside. We had to take care of business. We had to raise children. We had to do a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. But relationships go through those ups and downs. And so I would tell anybody, you know, partnerships are, girl. Look, you know, partnerships is dangerous. Can they work? The answer is yes. Mm -hmm. Because we're examples of they can work. Yeah. But in more cases than not, you usually have a situation that go left. If I could be honest with you, mm -hmm. I would rather, and this is just my business advice. I would rather take a business loan out from somebody, pay you interest, but not give you any ownership in the company. Mm -hmm. If I could be 100. Mm -hmm. 
because it's easier to do that than to have to consider and deal with a whole nother person. Because then at that point, you're almost like a glorified employee yeah. because you have to consider every aspect with them. You get what I'm saying? But like for businesses, for businesses and marriages, relationships, if y'all often to live with somebody, anything, <laughs> the advice that I would give either of them is number one, Darius said it a long time ago when his first jumped off. He said, y'all got to get off the social media. Mm -hmm. Y'all got to get off the social media. You're damaging your brands, plural. Mm -hmm. Even if the business separate and y'all go y'all separate ways, everybody is emotional and everybody's got something to prove. You so busy trying to prove the other person to be a liar mm -hmm. that you don't realize you're putting your own neck on the chopping block. Yeah. Because those same people that are watching and you're getting hundreds of thousands of views and all these vlogs like the shade room and all these other vlogs are picking up the story. Is that going to translate into a coin right. this time next year? The answer is, I don't know. Mm -hmm. could, it it could, could. Could be not. But it might not. Mm -hmm. Then what happens is you take this large following that these ladies have have amassed and you now you now have people choosing sides. Mm -hmm. So you now have a split or divided household and it's almost like everybody is sitting on a couch. We as the viewers are sitting on the couch watching this thing play out and it's very reminiscent and very messy like you watching your mom and your daddy argue. Mm -hmm. You watching your mom and your daddy argue. Now, you know, this ain't for a child's place. Mm -hmm. But you're so involved and it's two people that you care about that instead of you excusing yourself and going upstairs to your room, you sitting there glued. But then what happens after mom and daddy get through cussing each other out and calling each other names is you start to see one person one way and you start to see the other person the other way. Mm -hmm. And again, the takeaway from this video is we're not choosing a side. There's not a side for me to choose because I don't, you, you'll never know the whole story. Mm -hmm. And I see both people's point. If I can reiterate that, I see both people's position. And I think both people are right, mm -hmm. right? Karina has money invested. She's got time invested. She has a family to protect. She has, you know, a legacy to maintain. Carmen, this is your baby. You started this thing. You, you have fallen in love. You found a woman of your dreams. You just want people to be happy. Carmen is, she does business. Carmen is the kind of entrepreneur that I would coach that Carmen has a good heart. She seemed like she do everything in business by a handshake and a kind word. Yeah. She's so used to people in business probably saying what they're going to do. And being a man or a woman of your word and doing what you say you're going to do. And a lot of people do business that way. Yeah. But the danger about doing business that way is you can get railroaded. Mm -hmm. You can get railroaded. Because if you're dealing with somebody who's very savvy in business and savvy financially and has the right amount of control and the right amount of access, they'll have documentation, paperwork, you'll be thinking you own 50%, 49%, 51%, and you will look up and you'll be an employee on payroll and you don't own any percent of your own business. Of your own business. They be done got trademark paperwork, copyright paperwork. They be, got, they be done got business formation documents, all of these things, right? And it's all in how you, how you move and how you look at things. Mm -hmm. You be done got taken advantage of and, and, and not to say that Karina is that person, because that's not what I'm trying to allude. But what I'm saying is I've seen so many things. Thank you very much, Miss Brenda, for the stars. I've seen so many things like this happen over and over again because everybody was looking out for self. Yeah. And there's a danger when people start looking out for self. Mm -hmm. You have to go back to how did we get here and what brought us together? And you have to do what's best for everybody. And you can only do what's best for everybody when you take care of your business on the front end, which is what I said earlier in the video. 
Because on the back end, when people are emotionally charged, it's too little and oftentimes it's too late. So I would like to see these ladies pull all of their content off of, off of the internet as it relates to tearing each other down. That's damaging. That's damaging to each other and that's damaging to the collective, right? I would like to see these ladies go into mediation, yeah. business mediation. I know some things were said. They were saying some things are in court. Oftentimes with court, they'll give you an option mm -hmm. to just scrap the whole court case and let's send everybody through mediation. Yeah. I would like to see everybody go to mediation. And even if you make the decision that you no longer want to do business, that's perfectly fine. But just as the front end and the entrance of the business relationship was clean, we have to be respectful and adult and professional and we have to exit the business that same way. Right. But we can't forget that regardless of how you feel about the other party in the business, when folks start getting married, I'm telling you, y'all, poom poom cost. What did I say on the real? <laughs> yes. What did I say on the real? Poom poom cost. Chef Carmen going out getting this poom poom from Tay is going to cost. You get what I'm saying? Poom poom cost. It costs everybody in business. Mm -hmm. Because even if Sean and I, let's say Sean and I were never married, we were never in a relationship. Let's say we were just best friends. Mm -hmm. If we have Sincerity Johnson, which is our e-commerce brand, our women's fashion brand. Mm -hmm. If we have Sincerity Johnson, I'm owner, Sean's owner. If Sean goes out and gets married, regardless of how I feel about that person, that person is now involved in our business. Mm -hmm. Because guess what happens? If Sean gets sick, she died, anything happens to her, she gets in a car accident, she decides she wants to retire. Mm -hmm. This girl that I may or may not like is now involved in everything that we've created. Especially if I have it set up that way. Because if I have it where she's now able to make financial decisions for me, et cetera, et cetera, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. going to impact Handy mm -hmm. and vice versa. That's what I'm saying. And so a lot of people, a lot of people from an emotional, personal perspective are saying they don't understand Karina's perspective. Well, I do because baby, I specialize in getting to the bag. Absolutely. I specialize in getting to the bag. That's what I do. And I understand that this thing called business is not checkers. It's always been checks. It's always been shut. And so it's not about, oh, she fell in love and, and, and she don't like her and all this other stuff. We're grown. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about a seven figure, maybe eight figure brand over there. Yeah. Okay. We're talking about porn. We're talking about legacy. Mm -hmm. Grown women who build successful businesses don't build them with the intention on allowing somebody, right, wrong, or indifferent, to come in and interrupt the bag. Right. Or have to be considered when a decision is made. Karina's got kids. I understand. Chef Carmen's got a daughter too. Mm -hmm. But we're talking about legacy. Remember what I told you guys in the other video. When it comes to online businesses, e-commerce businesses, etc., if they ever decided, hey, we built this massive empire. If they said five years from now, you know, we've had a good run, but we're getting older. We want to retire. They could sit down with a business broker, put together a deal. And just like you would list your house for sale mm -hmm. on Zillow or Trulia or whatever, or with a realtor, you people list businesses the same way. Mm -hmm. That business would then sell for three, five, seven times the money that they make every year. Mm -hmm. Let's say this business is doing $3 million a year. They could get $15 million out of that business. Right. You get what I'm saying? So then you get into a marital situation. It's not just a 50-50 split of that mm -hmm. business at that point. Mm -hmm. Now you got other people involved too. 
You get what I'm saying? And so now this is the this is the money play. Now we get into the money play. You guys following me? So we have to get out of our feelings. And I know that's hard for women. We have to get out of our feelings and we have to make sure we're taking care of business. Because it's so much easier on the front end of this thing. Mm -hmm. Because on the front end, if they would have sat down with somebody like me, I would have said, <laughs> Come on, <Peter> Piper. <clears throat> yes. What documents do we have? What legal documents do we have? I've heard all the financials. I see the projection. I see where you guys want to take this brand in a year, in three years, in five years. Let's talk about ownership. Yes. Let's talk about ownership and percentages. And percentages. Is the business an LLC? Is it incorporated? Can I see the tax returns of the business? Mm -hmm. What systems and processes do we have in place? Should one or both owners get married, divorce, pass away, suddenly become disabled, or decide that they want to retire or sell the business? What do we do? Right. What do we do? What do we do if Sean want to sell Sincerity Johnson, but I don't want to? Mm -hmm. Right? What's the process? Right? It's not about, it goes back to what I said before. It's not about what's happening. It's what can you prove? What can you prove? My bestie said an operating agreement. That's it. That's it. It's all about what can you prove? And see, sometimes it's difficult because when you go into business with a friend or a spouse or whatever, like Candy said earlier, you know, you go into it like, okay, we cool. Like, we don't need to do all that. Like, mm -hmm. I've always been there for you. You've always been there for me. I trust you. You trust me. However, mm -hmm. when it comes to business, okay, I do. I trust you with my life. But I just need you to sign right here on this dotted line so that if something were to happen, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people get a little squeamish about that. Like, they be like, oh, you don't Like, people get real mad. Just like mm -hmm. when people get ready to get married and some people be like, well, I need you to sign this prenup. And they get real offended, like... I'm sorry. What do you mean? It has not. Okay, let's take let's take ourselves out of this because now we're getting a little bit too personal. Right, let's, 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 like, let's take this away from me and you. It's getting too personal. It's getting too personal. It's it's getting too personal. It really has nothing to do for you, do with you. Okay, right. it's it's all about just making sure that we're both protected. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need to make sure that we're both gonna be in a good place should something happen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. but people get real funny about that. Yeah. 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 Kim said, my thing is, if Tay was a man, would this be a big issue? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Didn't matter who it was. Yes. It, you, it could be a golden retriever. Kim, look, look, Kim, look deep into my eyes. <laughs> Listen, after all of that, all of those shenanigans went down where Stephanie and, and Carmen broke up and that just blew up, girl, like a bowel movement with a two-year-old that just had carrots for dinner, girl. <laughs> when that when that thing played out the way it did, girl, so so publicly and stuff, girl, you understand what I'm saying? You could substitute, girl. You could substitute a monkey at the zoo. It don't matter. Right. Tay just happens to be the person who fits the coach, right? She's in the you glass right now. She just happens to be the person who fits the coach. She mm -hmm. just happened to fit the costume. Mm -hmm. It's nothing towards her specifically. It just happens to be she's the next contestant after the big fallout. Mm -hmm. So by nature, you got Karina sitting on ready, girl. On ready. You got her sitting on ready. And could you blame her? But you also have Karma saying, look, life goes on. You think I'm not supposed to live? Mm -hmm. Which again is why I say I'm sitting, I'm sitting in the middle of the tennis court, like going back and forth. Because I see both sides. I see both sides. Mm -hmm. I'm not taking a side. I see both sides. Yeah. It's not about taking a side for me. I see both sides. It's about what do you do with the perspective that you have? Mm -hmm. And don't lose sight of everything that you work to build. Right. Right? You have, they have to come together and figure out, yeah, how's the house going to be handled? Make sure... The key is to make sure it's fair for everybody. Mm -hmm. And now let me throw, let me throw some seasoning. <laughs> let me throw yeah, some seasoning on this part of the conversation. 
I believe, and I don't know this to be true. Y'all seem to know just as much as we do, if not more. In the comments, let me know. Is Karina married? I believe she is. Is Karina married? Because that's another person that we now have to consider. Right? Mm -hmm. That's another person that we now have to consider. Mm -hmm. When it comes to business ownership, this thing could get real tricky. You understand what I'm saying? It can get real tricky because you have so many different people who are now involved, right? And it's been loosely said. Carmen was saying how she was laying around and she was looking out the window. She's really been going through. Mm -hmm. She was saying that she's trying hard not to have a nervous breakdown, yeah. which is very serious. That is very That's serious. That's very serious. Please, huh? anybody in her immediate camp, because, like, you know, you have your circle of friends. We're, like, on the Saturn rings. Like, we so far removed. But, like, anybody mm -hmm. in that nucleus, take heed to that and don't take that lightly. So, with that being said, that's another thing that qualifies for all of the stuff that I talked about. Mm -hmm. Right? If somebody falls into a depression and mentally they're incapable of taking care of their portion of what whatever it is that she would normally do in the business. Mm -hmm. What does that look like? Yeah. As it relates to the day-to-day -day operations, ownership, financial decisions, etc. It's so many moving parts to this, y'all. Mm -hmm. It's so many moving parts. People think it's all about hitting the live button, going live, scrambling some eggs. And then pitching a cookbook. It's way deeper than that. Mm -hmm. People are building empires. From the living room, from the dining room, from the kitchen. I mean, people are working hard. Yes. We do a fraction. We're just getting started. Mm -hmm. We do a fraction of what these ladies have accomplished. But what makes me qualified, if I may, to have this conversation, because there's going to be people who watch the replay and they're going to be like, well, what makes you think? I, I spent my whole career before I even came on social media in the insurance and financial services space. Mm -hmm. I sat down with owners of businesses and couples. I talked to everybody from the person who lived at home with their parents and just was looking for car insurance to the person who had billions of dollars. And they were looking for investment vehicles to park this money. And they wanted to make sure certain things were in place, like the documents I talked to you about. Right. So I've worked with people from all walks of life. That's what I did. But, you know, it's one of those situations where we have to look at some of the stuff that's happening and we have to remove the entertainment piece of it. We have to remove our emotions from it. Mm -hmm. And we have to say... It's not a coincidence that this crossed my path today. Right. I got to start doing something to make sure I'm good mm -hmm. and my family's good. Mm -hmm. I got to make sure my finances are in order. Because mm -hmm. it's okay to it's okay to, to to take a look at stuff and you know be involved and everything like that. But if mm -hmm. there's something there. Take heed to that. Mm -hmm. Take heed to it and then just put a mirror in your face and be like, can I see myself in any part of this? And if I do, what can I do to secure myself to make sure that I don't end up in dot, dot, dot? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Because people always row the boat in the direction that you want them to row in when you're making them happy. Mm -hmm. People show you who they are, not, not when things are going well and y'all skipping through the park and y'all holding hands. People show you who they are when you hurt them. Mm -hmm. Who are you when I show up and I disappoint you? I let you down. I hurt you. Who are you to me then? See, that's when all of the stuff starts to fall out the bag. Yes. That's when people's true colors come out. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you guys, not just because I want you to go to the website. I'm serious. Don't just look at this and say, oh, woe is me, or, you know, this, is, this was entertaining. It's just something to follow. You're seeing this for a reason. Mm -hmm. You're seeing this video for a reason. You're seeing what's going on with Carmen and Karina for a reason. Go to our website. You don't even have to book a coaching call with me. Get a digital book. Get one of the immediate downloads. 
Go to the website, get an immediate download, go to candysincerityjohnson.com. Go to the website, grab you something. I'm telling you, financially, you're going to be able to get to the bag quicker. Because mm-hmm. all of the stuff that I was saying and everything you plan out, you see him play out in front of you, you're going to be like, ooh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. ooh. Yeah, I'm better for knowing now. I know what to do. Yeah, I'm telling you. I think that everything, it, everything can be looked at as a learning opportunity or mm-hmm. in some form or fashion. You know what I mean? Like yeah. anything that you see play out or anything that you see go on, it can be used as a learning opportunity. Even mm-hmm. if it's a situation where you're like, okay, I know what not to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even if you look at it like, okay, now moving forward, I know mm-hmm. what I want, don't need to do or I don't want to do. Mm-hmm. Okay. And come on, Trinidad, thank you so much. Um, and it's one of those things like Candy said, she 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 studied this for years, over a decade, Mm -hmm. like in the financial and uh insurance and financial services industry. Like, yeah, and even if you're the person who says, Well, I don't have a business, so this don't apply to me. I told you guys last week, I am engulfed in learning about the Rockefeller family. Mm Because a lot of people work hard, they leave something for their kids, and then the kids drop the ball, and then the family got to start all over again. Mm -hmm. But they have, this family has consistently, for generation after generation after generation after generation after generation, put systems and processes in place. It's no mystery why they are the richest family in the world. It's no mystery. Mm -hmm. It's no mystery why they've been that way for years and years and years. It's because they don't just live by the seat of their pants. They don't make emotional business decisions. These are emotional business decisions. You don't make emotional business decisions. What did I say earlier? My shirt said that I used to wear. Get out your feelings. Ain't no money there. You have to, you have, to have poor beliefs where you're looking out for the collective. It's not just about you and you making sure you look good in these streets. You got to make sure you're doing what's best for everybody. So wrapping it up, I will leave you guys with that. Mm-hmm. Did you want to add anything before we go? Um, I can't think of anything else. Um, For those that, that came across us, because I saw a few people say that they came over here because um we were mentioned somewhere else. Thank you. Welcome. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we're glad that you're here. We are a very uh, open space. We don't mind you disagreeing with what we have to yes. say. And this goes to the people that's going to be on the replay tearing the club up. Okay? <laughs> we don't care about you disagreeing with us. We just ask that you be respectful. Just be respectful. Where that's else? it. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't want everybody to come on here and agree with what I got to say because that's not how you have mm-hmm. a good, valuable conversation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. But that's all I got to say. Yeah, but we will let you guys go. Go to the website, candysincerityjohnson.com. Um, check us out if you want to learn more. That's probably the best place to, to go. Make sure you like and follow the page as well. So make sure you like and follow us. But we come over here very, very often. We're constantly live, constantly um, putting videos and stuff up. So mm-hmm. join the community. We would love to have you here. Mm-hmm. But as we always say, we always end every video, the absolute best. Is yet to come, but baby, I got some work to do. Y'all have a good night. Good night, best friends.